This game is called the Valentine Arcade. The goal of the game is to find the points hidden behind the hearts in the arcade and to not find the X's hidden behind the hearts in the arcade. To begin the game, the instructor divides their class into four groups or teams. Each team is then asked a question that the instructor has in their hands, either a vocabulary test or review questions that they have in their hands. After the question has been asked, if the team gets it correct, they are able to choose a numbered heart on the board. Behind each heart are either points or X's. The team that gets the most points or finds the most points behind the hearts is declared the winner. Let's take a sample look at a game. First, when we hit the play button, we'll simply choose one of the boards to play. After choosing one of these boards, we'll then begin the game. The only caveat there is that when you choose a board, if you use the game often, be sure not to choose the same board so that the participants would not know or have an idea of what might be behind each one of the hearts. After choosing your, your board, uh, the instructor will then ask the first team a question. In this case, we'll say Team 1, that they got the question correct and have now been asked to select a heart from the arcade. They're going to choose heart number 13. So the instructor clicks on heart 13 to reveal 10 points. So Team 1 would be given 10 points as the instructor types 10 into the box at the bottom for team 1. Team 2 is now up. They're asked a question and they get it right. They choose heart number 19. Unfortunately, that is an X for them. If they had any points, the instructor would simply highlight those points down here and type a 0 to take those points away and they would continue on in the game to try to earn back some points. The game continues until all the hearts are gone off the board or until all the questions by the instructor have been used, in the, with the team having the most points at the end being declared the winner. If the instructor needs more questions and it, or needs, uh, has more questions and has, not and has used up all of the hearts, you can simply write down the scores and choose Select New Game or you can just call that game done and start a new game by selecting new game choosing one of the boards a different one than what you had and simply continuing on again all the game continues until all the questions have been answered or all the hearts have been used up on the board the only caveat here with the scoring system that I want to point out is that the scoring system can only be changed when PowerPoint is in view mode or in show mode. If you're in the edit mode, you cannot change the numbers that are within these boxes. So before you quit the game, sometimes I advise that you zero these scores out or the next time you start it, just zero them out before you begin. To begin the game using Office 2007, go to the Slideshow tab and click one time. After clicking on the Slideshow tab, click the From Beginning button on the far left. This will begin the game. To start the game in any version of PowerPoint before Office 2007, go to the Slideshow menu and choose View Show. This game is designed for a whole class participation. Participants are divided into teams or may work as individuals. For best results, use an LCD projector or TV to display the game to participants. If you receive a security alert when beginning this game and you're using Office 2007, simply click the Enable This Content button and then click OK. Please note, if you are using a version of Microsoft Office prior to Office 2003, some of the features in these games may not function properly. It is advised that you do your editing of the PowerPoint slides or games in your older version, and then use Microsoft's free PowerPoint viewer for actual game play. To download the free viewer, just do a web search for PowerPoint Player 2007.